We'll be calling you a radical, Rocky Mountain High, oh, this is Colorado. By the way, what a beautiful airport when you fly in. The new airport in Salt Lake is beyond hideous, and I mean hideous. Oh, that airport is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. That's horrible. Inside, outside. The old one was nice. Oh, it's hideous. But flying over, the sun was just coming up. It is breathtaking and stunning how low the Great Salt Lake is. I mean, it's empty. There's a, a rip. It's turned into a river between the Wasatch Front and Stansbury Island now. It's just a little stream. This is all acute in eight years. It's stunning how brown and how dried out the western route. This acute, radical, the great western drought is, I'm telling you, and it blows my mind how everybody's in denial about it. No one's talking about this acute, radical drought that in the whole western United States from 2012 to 20, I mean, this eight year catastrophe. This is the great western drought and the heat bubble from Fukushima, oh, tide pools dead at your feet, coincidence. Freaking salmon collapse, coincidence. The Idaho story where the 60, 660,000 make it to sea and only 27 make it to the mouth of the Columbia. It's stunning. So, by the way, the new Salt Lake Airport is the most ugly, hideous, disgusting thing I've ever seen, inside and out. The old one was beautiful. It, oh, it's, yeah, I mean, it's disturbing. It's that ugly. This airport's grand. I mean, it's beautiful when you fly into it. Everything's beautiful about it. Oh, that one in Salt Lake. Oh, make you, I mean, I've never seen anything so disgusting. Either. By the way, I'll be, I'm headed to Reagan. Talk about a beautiful airport. So, I'm headed to the peace vigil, but I wanted to give an update on the Great Western Drought. Why is no one talking about this? I mean, <laughs> I mean, the whole western United States. The heat bubble, Fukushima. It's all coincidence, bro. See at the peace vigil in a few hours. Stand tuned.